All right, Mike Payte, Mikey'sBoard.com. I'm going to do a real quick UV flashlight review of the three lights that I personally own. This is the UV Beast with the uh, 50 some odd diodes. This is the Larry Cobb, $149. Um, maybe the original high performance or one of the original high performance UV lights. And then the latest Darling to the Dance, the PP5000. 299, 149, 1999, I believe it goes. So here's a typical situation: draw the blinds, get some light, and or reduce the light. Uh, I'll kill the hallway light. We'll start with the uh, the beast or semi beast. There is a hundred or a hundred some odd diode version of this, and as I'm looking at the camera, it's actually brighter than it is in real life, but. I'm a fairly tall guy, but if I walk around, I'm going to be able to find PP. Uh, luckily enough, there are there is no P, but you know, as usual, you can see little flecks of paint or whatever hiding in the carpet. But 20 bucks, it's going to find the P. Is it going to do it with the light on? Uh, barely, not really. Maybe if you put on the yellow glasses. 20 bucks though. If you're just starting out, that'll find you some P. Move on to Larry Cobbs, much much narrower beam as you can see, but brighter. Can throw it across the room for sure. 150 bucks, and this is uh, identical in performance to the TMF light. Not sure what the TMF light costs, but uh, same. I think it's the same manufacturer. Larry does a little tweak to it. Uh, not sure what that is, and then this this new monster, and there you go, and it's variable. That looks like it's burning a hole in my camera lens, <laughs> but it's it looks different on the screen than it does in real life. But um, you can definitely throw it across the room. Let's turn the light on. Still very usable. Not, well, yeah, just about from across the room. You can see something right there. But, it's uh, 300 bucks. I think that's 300 bucks on sale. For this version, there are some questionable Punjabi ones that you can find on Alibaba or Amazon that Gary Height says there's a difference in the, whatever, the motherboard and the switch and all that. I don't know. I don't have the other ones I'm taking apart. Gary sent this to me to try as a Christmas gift, I guess. And it's very impressive. The thing is all CNC aluminum. And it's a beautiful piece. Not that this isn't. This is all CNC too. can be used as a forehead jabber. Uh, aluminum again, but not nearly as impressive. But uh, do the math. How many of these could you uh, buy for the same price and just duct tape them together? Anyways, go on my website. You won't even find the word deodorizer on there. So I'm not the one to ask if uh, if any of them are worth it. I'd prefer to go the rest of my life having never to use one of these. But this is one of my military accounts that I go through before starting to make sure that the, the last guy or family didn't uh, abuse the carpet. And I'll let you make that decision, but hopefully you have a business model where you don't need to do this disgusting pet work. You don't need any of these things. But um, for me, and I was buying one, I'd probably go buy the $100 or 100 diode version of this. That's, I think, 30 bucks. Tape it to a broomstick to get it closer to the floor and uh, carry on. There you go. Mikey'sBoard.com for more... Fun fact fill testing and debunking of carpet cleaning hype. This is a really nice light though.